Hey, it's seven grains of salt. Well, if you still have doubts about Rodney Howard Brown, you're going to need to watch this. Okay, I made my video on him, but I didn't show a lot of other things, such as what this Revealing Truth channel did. So I'm going to share just a very short rendition. If you're interested, watch his video. Here we go. I'd never seen this before and I was in shock when I saw this and we are going to share some of this with you today. But before we see that, we have to remember that just because someone preaches the name of Jesus doesn't mean they're actually saved. The Bible is very clear and says in 2 Corinthians 11.4, For if someone comes and proclaims a Jesus other than the one we proclaimed, or if you receive a different spirit than the one you received, or a different gospel than the one you accepted, you put up with it way too easily. So what does that tell us? It tells us that people will come preaching a different Jesus. They may use the name of Jesus, the same Bible, and some of the same stories, but if it's not the true Jesus, then it's a Jesus that cannot save. This verse says that people put up with it way too easily. Why would people put up with a false Jesus being preached? 2 Timothy 4.3 tells us, They don't want truth. They want a gospel and a God to suit their own needs, which is idolatry. So people are saying, how dare you judge such a great man of God? Rodney preaches about the harvest and getting people to Christ. Well, so do Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses. So does Kenneth Copeland and Benny Hinn. And so did Jim Jones. But just because people say the right things doesn't mean they believe it or have good intentions. 2 Corinthians 11, 13 to 15 gives us a very fair warning about this. It tells us that these people are pretending to be apostles of Christ and that they are actually following the devil. And the devil is a liar. So why wouldn't these phonies lie in the name of money, power, fame, or whatever they are truly seeking? And just on a side note, isn't that interesting that the Bible uses the word apostles, not pastors or servants, but apostles, just like the new apostolic movement. Think about that. Ahead and just take a drink now. The ball's open. Go ahead and take a drink. He did an amazing job, and I don't know how he was able to stomach his way through that, because and how he was able to see and find all that, because that is deception right there. That I don't know how it's gone on for so long, and how many. I know there's many Christians out there who've been trying to speak the truth, but but I'm glad there's Christians out there who are speaking the truth. A lot of computer issues, so it's really hard getting things out because so many kids are at home on their net doing homeschooling. So doing my best, stay safe, stay vigilant. So many great YouTubers out there, just stay vigilant. Um, they've already taken down some of the videos of the empty hospitals that people have been recording they don't want the truth out but just got to keep sharing it so 
Anyway, more to come. God bless. Have a great day.